I haven't done this in a while, but making this a quick and dirty V blog. Couple of life updates. Surgery last week went successful. I guess I'm still alive. So I guess I'm your problem now for another for another couple decades. Um, traffic is shitty as fucking hell tonight. Um, took me I left the house at two and I didn't get to River Coons till six just to fix his printer. And I mean, reiterate this, when I say open the tray, all you have to do is open the tray. But apparently he didn't quite get the memo in his head. I'm pretty sure some of the medications they have him on since the lockdown has pretty much fried his brain because he doesn't seem to remember anything. And he used to write scripts, story does art, his vision is gone. I don't know what they're finding wrong with him. They're finding just about every single thing you can. With me, it was just a, they call an ingrown hernia or whatever. I don't I don't know, but I read it up online. Um, I can see where the different mechanics of different uh, tissues that connect to each other on the diagram. I mean, if you ever want to get into being a doctor, you might as well study that because human physiology is something you have to be an expert in to be a doctor. Congratulations if you make it that far. I wouldn't fix anyone that doesn't look like me anymore. So, a um, couple of projects I'm closing up with this other guy, but he hasn't sent any payments, so I'm going to button down the hatches, box it up tonight if I can before I go to sleep, take some last pictures, write up a quick documentation, and send it on its way, because I don't can't do commissions anymore because my creativity is dead, stuck in traffic four to six hours a day if I leave the house for anything. I mean... At least the day I went to surgery, the place was pretty empty. But then again, with a $1,200 copay, I wouldn't be surprised if anyone could afford it anymore. And that's the copay. I looked at the actual cost. This is the basic level. So um, I'm sure you didn't get a heart attack from that. But okay. And then I just had a really bad experience with a maker. Not really a maker. This person was selling a red dragon suit. Then she changed her mind and said head only. Okay, that's weird, but I take that I only really wanted a head anyway, so it wouldn't really have mattered. Um, it was 200 bucks, wasn't bad, and she negotiated. says, you know, that doesn't include shipping. I says, that's what we said last time at 100 You said, name your price. I said, 100 I don't know the condition. You gave me the measurements of the head. I don't know. It's probably got resin horns. Now she tells me it's really big and heavy and all that stuff. I'm like, you told me it was a 20-inch head. Now you tell me the horns are really big and heavy. And she says, so what state are you in? And she goes, Michigan. Oh, shoot, those are liberal states. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get all sorts of funky excuses. So she goes and continues to tell me, oh, yeah, I shipped something out recently. It was 100 bucks." I says, how about this? You can get me the size, put in the box, get me the size, the weight, bathroom scale, simple as easy. Just walk on a bathroom scale, measure your weight before and after, and subtract the difference. I mean, anyone can do that, and you can go to UPS and actually get a quote. And she goes, oh, I don't use UPS. I don't use USPS. I says, they're both carriers. UPS, I can have them call and pick it up at your address and get that box out of your hands for you. All you have to do is sign on the paper and ready to go. So I proceeded to send the, pay send the payment because she sent me an invoice. And interestingly enough, I don't know if this person is minor or what but I started looking in the profile because I was uh, it was one of those offer that came up on this fursuit sell uh, listings so I looked in her profile and I'm like it said high school so she could be a minor which then she goes my fiance's account owns the uh, PayPal account fine you have someone else that does that so I was thinking if if it's the younger generation you at least hopefully know how to use PayPal's because computers tend to be in everyone's generation but it kind of sucked because I kind of wanted it about a month ago when I was at the uh, L.A. County Fair. Then she decided to sell it to someone else for 200 And then I just deleted the chat and that's it. Well, today she blocked the chat because I basically said, well, it shows your account is unverified. And then she sent me a screenshot, which does show the invoice number, but doesn't show the PayPal transaction ID. So there's already a flag there. You don't have an account linked. She goes, I verified my ID. And I'm like, okay, you can verify your ID day and night. But I'm kind of now stuck at a loss trying to figure this out because 
I'm kind of stuck uh, both ways on how this is going to go because her account says unverified, the invoice is un the payment says unclaimed, and I had her request an invoice. So if you request an invoice from your PayPal account, your PayPal account is set up correctly, why would my payment say unclaimed? So about 30 minutes have passed this morning, and uh, then she says something about the shipment, and it's got to be another $100 more or so. She won't find out, and she's going to bill me later before she releases it one last time. So you're going to go run over to the post office, which doesn't have the box size you need. doesn't really have a scale. You're going to buy postage for it. Some imaginary how. Maybe your fiancé or friend of you is going to take you there, but you told me you don't have a ride. So I'm getting all these excuses. So there's already a flag there that there's a non-commitment. So I don't know who the fiancé is, but I would not date that type of personality at all with that many excuses. You can't do this, you can't do that, instead of being more useful. So I just completely said to her, I says, well, you know, this isn't going to, she goes, well, I'm just going to go to another customer. Then you better return my money then. She goes, I can't cancel it. It says it's still stuck in that limbo. And I'm like, okay, now what do I do? So either A, I go to my account and I looked online really quickly on how to cancel a transaction. The buttons aren't there and I'm going to have to call support because I think I got an older user interface. I don't know. I'm going to have to contact them about that because I'm on a different account, two different accounts, three actually accounts. One of them I notice is more bubbly or interface. So I'll have to see if maybe they move the buttons around. But the old interface, it wasn't there. So I went immediately called on the phone to their support call this morning. And boom, it told me hit one for the last transaction. Would you like to cancel it because it's unclaimed? So I hit cancel and I could see it reverse on my credit card in real time. It actually set a reverse flag on it. So that averted losing $200. But then I just told I took care of it with my credit card vendor. Since it was unclaimed, I was able to reverse the transaction. So it's never happened to me before. I said, that's weird that it's showing up as unclaimed because I have sent people money. The last person, I forgot who it was, may have been David Bliss. But um, I've received money on there as early as last week. And I usually receive something in the next couple of days from, uh, from Patreon and other stuff. The sources that send me other things to or subscriptions or something. I don't know that comes in on that account. So I usually document that. But yeah, that was strange that it was unverified and unclaimed. So I don't know what's fishy going on in PayPal's network, but it may be very fishy right now. So... But then about an hour later, she basically blocked my chat so I couldn't respond back and wrote something on the public chat on hold. I'm like, okay, mahem, you mean on hold what? Because there's other people that post stuff products on that listing. So I'm like, okay, I'm just following the listing. But it goes, oh, yeah, there's another customer. And I'm like, okay. So either this person is very adolescent, which is what I'm figuring out, just trying to get rid of the fursuit because apparently bought something that realized that she got to get rid of fast. I don't know why. Or B, she doesn't have it anymore and trying to extort someone, which is sounds more likely because I don't get it was unclaimed. I mean, if the money went through instantly and the account was actually set up correctly, it probably would have went through. Credit card accounts usually go through instantly because it's insured transactions. So I've never had this problem before. And most people who bought from me, at least bought from my website legitimately at the time when they were used to be buying every week, um, I used to see it come up and it tra transferred. The only time I get transaction now are a few blocked credit cards because it tells me bad or declined or whatever it is. And uh, it holds the cart for like a day or so on my site and then it releases it back automatically. So it's automated system. So it's pretty nice to have it set up where it's, it's fully functional now. But yeah, I just don't get this type of personality, so I've just about given up with that route. I may continue with the current projects I have, but I'm still trying to figure out where everyone's at because one was supposed to start last fall. Um, I got a few new makers now, which are kind of cool. Um, we're trying to do some research and try to recover some information that was lost in the great explosion of people that seem to, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't, I'm getting tired of this, I can't do. You know what I can do? I can get stuck in fucking illegal traffics twice a day. And it seems to be that that's the only thing I can do now. 